Good morning and welcome to another vlog. I am here at Epcot today and we are here for the Festival of the Arts. I am super excited. I've never done this one before. This is only their second year doing it. So we're going to eat lots of good food. I heard that Kara Lindsay um, and some other Broadway star are here tonight and they're singing songs from Alad Aladdin, Tarzan, Newsies, and Frozen. So we're going to see. I might stick around for that because... You know me, I love Frozen. But uh, otherwise, we're just gonna kinda hang around and have some fun. Okay guys, so an update, because I kind of like forgot that I was vlogging, but um, I'm here in the American Adventure. American Adventure. And uh, apparently, we get a free gift for being an annual pass holder. So I have this beautiful print right here. It's Belle, and it was free. And also free was the um, guaranteed, um, I can't think of what the word is, for like better seating, priority I guess, seating for the Broadway concert at 8 o'clock tonight. So I have my wristband for that and um, I'm so excited. And uh, right now I'm walking around looking for food that isn't more than like five bucks a piece. So as soon as I get some snacks, I will show you guys what I got. Okay friends, so I finally found some food that was somewhat within my budget. One of them, one, one of them I splurged on. So, uh, from Japan, I got the Taiyaki dessert, which is a Japanese stuffed pastry with sweet red bean filling, filling, not feeling, sesame cream and raspberry sauce, and that is what that looks like. And then from France, I splurged a little bit, just a little bit. And I got salmon et crotte, façon pas bocuse, which is salmon in a puff pastry crust, pas bocuse style with spinach and beurre blanc sauce. And that is that one right here. And it's kind of loud over here, but uh, I'm excited to eat both of these. So this meet and greet with Belle was super fun. We uh, talked a little bit about the artwork her father had made and she asked if my book bag could hold a lot of books and then she also signed the artwork that I got for Festival of the Arts and it was so, so fun. Okay, I am in uh, Sunshine Seasons, well the Land Pavilion. Um, and I'm here at Circle of Life, an environmental fable because they are about to close this in a few weeks. So I really wanted to come and see it. One last time, this is the carpet um, wall, and I'm really, I'm really sad that they're closing this. Like, I love the Lion King so much. I'm so sad. Nera de recordatorio, no tomar foto con flash y luz de video antes de llegar a. extracting precious nutrients and minerals. These elements, when combined with sunlight, create the diverse living systems of our planet. Beautiful living system. And while this arid landscape may seem lifeless, it is very much alive. Forces at work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects. The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use and sometimes overuse of the land. Bass and catfish, like the ones you see here, 
are three of the more popular crops raised by fish farmers. The sustainable system we're using here recycles the water in the tanks. As a result, we're able to save millions of gallons each year. Our small fish farm produces nearly 5,000 pounds of fish each year to serve in restaurants around Walt Disney World. Innovations like this one can play an important role in our efforts to produce bountiful harvests and still protect natural resources. While there are more than 50,000 edible plant species in the world, most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. The common grains growing here, wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. That saves water and increases production. The aquaponic system on your left combines hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plants, and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. Okay, first fast pass of the day. We have figment. It's actually called Journey into Imagination with figment, but everyone just calls it figment. There is rumor that they're doing away with figment, and I will literally die because figment has been with me since I was a baby. So. I will die if they get rid of Journey into Imagination with Figment. He is my favorite and I love him. I cannot express that enough. I love him. All three of these men are iconic. Dr. Solinsky, Dr. Brainerd, which I think is Flubber. Bienvenidos. Para su seguridad durante su estadía en nuestros laboratorios. Hello. On your tour, you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh, can I go too? Absolutely not. Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Yeah, I know all about the senses. They're sight, sound, smell, touch, goochie goochie go, and taste. Taste like chicken. Can I go? Please, please, please. No, I don't want you out of my sight. Out of sight? Okay. Come on, everybody. Here we go. Figment, you are not to interfere with the tour. By using the eye chart to test your vision. Now, all together, if you would please read line three and hit. With F-I-G-M-E-N-D, you can see things differently. <laughs> sure, you can see with your eyes, but imagine what you could see if you used your imagination. Follow the bouncing figment. One spark of light can light your fancy. Your mind sees more than what your eyes see. Your sense of sight can make your fancy fly. There's more to sight than meets the eye. It's always a good time to use your imagination, so let the good times roll! Woohoo! You win one cent! You want so Oh, yeah! Really? Of course, Doc! The nose goes! Oh, well, it said you really! One lovely snip can be appealing!
figment. Here we go. So, as you can okay. plainly see, imagination works the best when it's set free. You said it, Doc. Imagination is a blast. Imagination. Imagination. Oh, look, a hidden Mickey. Can be a dream come true. Right at the start of everything that's new, one little spark lights up for you. Oh, I did the same thing. Oh, no, I didn't. This is the display of artwork from young children. It is called Artists of Tomorrow. Some of these are really good. This one, she's 10 years old. <laughs> That's pretty good for a nine year old. It's very stylistic. Age eight? Wow. She's doing better than I could at five. Age 13. Age 18. No, 16. That's really good. 17. Some of this is photography too. That's really good. I'm glad they're recognizing photography as a work of art. Because like some people don't. Watercolor print transfer. That's really cool. Oh, that's beautiful. Alien Central. Big move. This is age 11. That's really good. This was a collaboration. Two different children working on it. And they've also got some sculptures as well. This one is blowing my mind. It doesn't say how old they were though. It just says what it is. Maybe on the other side. <coughs> no. Hmm. It's really cool. Some of these kids have like good eye for photography. That is so cool. All right, it's time for soaring. I haven't done this since we were here in December of 2016. So it's been a year. A whole year. Lego. Soren that leaves me breathless every time I ride it and I love it so much <sighs> so beautiful okay it's time for dinner here at deconstructed dish and for dinner is breakfast oh it's a drink oh never mind I thought it was like food food I'm a little I'm a little upset never mind um I have to reconsider
Okay, I think I'm gonna go for the deconstructed BLT. I'm not a BLT fan at all, but you know, I guess we'll find out. Wish me luck. Okay guys, this is the deconstructed BLT. I don't see much else, so that's good. And I think the tea is in that kind of paste right there, so. But these are huge slices of bacon. Look at that, I'm so excited for this. Oh my God. I won't talk too much about this meet and greet with Elsa and Anna because I talk about it in the actual video here in about a minute. But uh, Anna and I talked about hot chocolate and keeping warm when it's cold. And then when I met with Elsa, Elsa basically threw shade at all the little girls that dress up as her at the Disney parks and said that they're the ones to blame for um, it being cold and not her. She basically told me that they needed to wear gloves and that she needed to tell them to conceal it and not feel it and like honestly queen of shade Elsa queen Elsa is literal goals so I just met Elsa and Anna for the second time today this is a new high for me I've never met them twice in one day so life goal achieved um I just realized I didn't post anything about the first time I met them today so I will insert those pictures here I cannot for the life of me remember what I talked about with Elsa and Anna the first time I met them this day, but by the looks of it, I talked with Anna a little bit about hot chocolate, and we had lots of hugs, and I told her how happy I was to see her that day, and then Elsa, I have no idea. I cannot remember at all what we talked about, but a lot of the pictures are lots of sass, and uh, this last picture of me with Elsa coming out is just, Elsa just kind of like cringing at me. And then the time that I met them just now, that was such a weird sentence, the time that I met them just now. Um, just now when I met them, uh, Anna and I talked about the cold weather and how hot chocolate keeps Anna warm as well as warm hugs from Olaf. So we talked about that for a little bit. And then uh, Elsa and I talked about uh, how I moved from a warm kingdom to another warm kingdom um, and that all of the, her, she had a theory because everyone always blames her for the um, cold weather when it gets cold here in Florida and she said it's not her but her theory is that there are a bunch of tiny little girls in dresses like hers and she like she like held out her hand to show how tall they were and she was like there's a bunch of little girls in dresses just like mine and they're not wearing any gloves so I think that that might be why it's so cold and she said I'll have to tell them to conceal don't feel and, and I was like yeah we'll definitely have to uh, rein them in a little bit and get it a little bit more under control but uh yeah so it was really fun and uh, I still have like 30 minutes until my uh until I can get seated for my Broadway thing so right now I'm just kind of hitting up they have these things called art walks at every country and it's like you get the little like you put your page up against it and you like rub a crayon or a pencil over it and it um it like shades a little picture so I think I've only got like five or six left so that's what I'm gonna do for now and I will check back in when it is closer to time for the Disney on Broadway concert okay so this is what I was just talking about this is um, the art walk this is the one for Norway and it's got where you shade in the little rose mowing like you see in um in the movie everywhere i'll show you some examples over here so this is the uh, rose mowing it's literally everywhere in the movie as you can see right there um so it's really cool i can never be that detail oriented like it's, mm, mm, it's not ever gonna happen There's a show going on, but otherwise, I'm the only person in here.
These costumes are so cool. to die for. Okay, so here's the one for China. And see, like, you put it against that. You put your page against that, as shown. And then you just rub crayons all over it. Someone has already ripped it off, and it's just sitting there on the ground for a shame. And voila, 2018, the year of the dog. Very cool. I just stumbled upon the coolest photo op and I'll definitely have to show you guys the, the pictures. But basically it's a little like lotus flower that's lit up and you hold it and that's the only light for the photo. And I haven't looked at the pictures yet so I don't know what they look like, but I'm so excited to see them. I will definitely share them right here. You guys, I was just like casually walking through Germany and I happen to glance over at Snow White's wishing, wishing well and I'm like, oh, I need to come back and meet Snow White when she's here because usually once it's dark, the characters don't meet anymore. And, uh, you guys, you guys, she's out there right now and I just met her and I was the first in line, like she, like she literally, like I watched her walk out and no one was in line, no one was over there and so I like walked, like she kind of like looked at me and she kind of like waved a little bit. So I kind of like smiled and I walked over and I was like, is, is it okay? Can I meet her? And they're like, yeah, the line starts over there. So I ran in line and like I walked right up to meet her and I like curtsied and we got to walk together and talk together. And it was so nice. I'm so shook. Oh my God. I am like starstruck right now. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. So as I mentioned, I was literally hyped up to meet Snow White and look at my face. I was just like so excited to see her and we talked about Doc and his artwork and we really just like talked for a good few minutes and it was so fun and I was so happy to meet her and I just, oh, what a great surprise. I'm just gonna come over here where the cast members are. <laughs> this is who we're seeing tonight. I actually saw her um, as Glinda in the Munchkin Land, or maybe it was the Emerald City back then before they cut down to just one. Um, but I'm so excited. I feel like I know his name, but I don't think I've ever seen him in anything.
girls. Please welcome Disney on Broadway's Jim Gambatis and Kevin Massey.
stage sensation to hit the Broadway boards will be... Frozen! Frozen! Woo! Are you excited about this? Yes! Are you excited about this? Woo! Me too. Oh my gosh, I have to tell you, it is playing the St. James Theater in New York City, starting previews February 22nd, it's coming right up, and opening officially on March 22nd, Run, do not walk to get your tickets, it's going to be amazing. It is, it is going to be so cool. Oh no! <laughs> hey Jen, do you want to build a snowman? Come on, let's go and play. I never see you anymore. Come out the door, it's like you've gone away. We used to be best buddies, and now we're not. I wish you would tell me why. You want to build a snowman? It doesn't have to be a snowman. Okay. Do you want to build a snowman? Or ride our bikes around the halls? I think some company is overdue. I started talking to the pictures on the walls. Hang in there, Joan. It gets a little lonely. All these empty rooms. Just watching. You know, sometimes I like to close my eyes and imagine what it would be like if the summer was here. These old bugs, kids will blow in the lion fuss, and I'll be doing whatever snow does in summer. A drink in my hand. Snow up against the burning sand, probably getting gorgeously tan in summer. I'll finally see a summer breeze blow away a winter storm, and find out what happens to solid water when it gets warm. And I can't wait to see what my buddies all think of me. Just imagine how much cooler I'd be in summer. Ba -da, ba -da. <laughs> <laughs> when life gets rough, I like to hold on to my dream of relaxing in the summer sun, just letting off steam. Though the sky will be blue, and you guys will be there too. When I finally do what frozen things do in summer. Woo! Oh my God. 
behold two of the coolest photos I have ever had the opportunity to take at the Disney World Resort. You guys, that concert was amazing. I am so glad I stayed for that concert. I can't believe I was contemplating not staying for that concert. But uh, it is now almost 9 o'clock. I have class tomorrow at 11. So I'm going to go ahead and head home. It is so cold. I'm wearing long sleeves and a sweatshirt. And I'm still cold. Um, but I'm headed home now. Uh, thank you guys for sticking with me today at Epcot. I almost said Walmart. I don't know why I almost called Epcot Walmart. But uh, thanks for chilling with me today, guys. If you have any questions, comments, ideas, concerns, ideas for other videos, leave them down below in the comments. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.